to the final part of the one click game series from Impact Gamers, looking at Click Team Fusion using the free edition to make a game that only uses one click or one tap. Now I've downloaded one of the students' games who did this uh, who did this course, so Corey's game, and his game is okay in Impact uh, in Click Team Fusion is Football Guy. And so I'm going to go through what you should do to publish your game. So first of all, test, test, test. Then we'll look at making sure the instructions are clear, publishing it, uploading and sharing. So first of all, test to see if it works. So I'm just going to run that whole application and do run the application. Don't run the frames, run the whole application. So he's got a title frame. Hold to run to the mid zone, collect the balls, butter is bad, bombs are worse. Okay. Um, and I click, and here we go. There's the guy running around. And if I click, he runs to the center. Got a football. Got a football. Now, yep. Got a football. Click to go to the center. Right, and I hit a bomb. It says your score, 20. I click, and nothing happens. So the flow of the game isn't working yet. So I need to go to this final frame here. So I can click on it, and go to that event editor. At the start of frame, it plays the sound, but there's nothing else. So let's add a new condition to do with the mouse, to check its clicks, user clicks. Now. If your game is a rapid game, a rapid clicking, and it goes to the end game, end frame, and you click, it'll just start again. So I'm going to choose a double click. Or, actually, what I'm going to do is a single click, but I'm going to combine this condition with another one. So I'm going to right click on the words, click insert, and this condition is going to have to be true as well. So user clicks and uh, the time is greater. Timer is greater than a certain value. Um, so they've seen the score for at least three seconds there we go so they click and time is greater than three seconds then it's under this storyboard control I can jump to a frame which will just put me in a different part of the game so I can jump to any of these frames or I can restart the application which is what I want to do because that will reset scores that resets the lives object and the scores object to whatever the default ones are in your properties your runtime options of your application so score of zero and lives of three um, I don't think this game uses the lives but resetting the score will be useful so if I run the application now if I click start so let's see if I can get a bomb faster if I stay in the center oh there we go. we've got a counter counting down I can only stay in that a certain time there we go and I'm dead it's been longer than three seconds I click Great. Okay, so the next thing, after you've tested that it actually works, that the flow works, I would test uh, to j check the gameplay. How long can you play the game for before you lose? Is it too difficult to start off with? Is it too easy to start with? And just all those things. So let's have a quick look. Um, click start. Did I die for staying in the end zone too long? Three, two, one. Yep. So wait for those three seconds. Click. So I run to that point every time I click. It's not very central, so I'm going to have a go at moving that. I know that's not much of the gameplay. Or oh, an up bomb. I just couldn't avoid it. Well, maybe I could if I hadn't have clicked. So let's have a look at the game. Let's move this end zone. Uh, to the side and I'm gonna have to create another version of this and I'm just gonna send it to the back so I held down control then to make a copy of something so if you hold down control while dragging it will create a copy of something so I've created a copy sent it to the back to make that more central now in his rules let's have a quick look it checks he's in a zone now that zone should be this zone I believe and so let's update that and let's have a quick look oh I've got it a few times so let's just pull this 
on top of these to copy across. Um, user clicks, let's have a look at all the clicking. While the left button is clicked, look at that area, so edit. Let's move it to the center of our new zone. Okay, right, now we run our application. Hmm. Yep. I'm happier with that. Oh, it's the butter. That counter isn't going down. There we go. So that counter should be going down uh, every one second. Subtract one from counter. There we go. Those are not the same. What happened there? I thought I copied over the top. From there to there. Good. From there to there. Good. There to there. Good. Right. So obviously it's not finding him in that zone, which means that he's stopping. Where's the stop? Let's make that much smaller. Be there. Uh, I was wrong to copy over these. These should be checking the whole area there to see if he's in the end zone. Okay, right. This is some checking done. So get friends to play it. Get um, other people who don't normally play your game to play it. Still not counting down. What is that rule for the countdown? There is a number one. There's one of them in that area. I think that's fine. Every second, subtract one. And the number of zones. Okay. I think I should. The number of zones here. That rule makes no sense. Four. Oh yes, it is. That rule. Sorry about that. You will have spotted, hopefully, that if there's no ones in there, then it will work. Okay, right. So I won't bore you anymore with testing. Uh, testing can be very laborious, but use the filters at the top to check for things if it's to do with the player have a look at everything to do with the player to do with the mouse have a look to do things with the mouse make sure things run properly make sure you don't start changing zeros and ones and test it works so test with a friend get someone to play it and then it's instructions important because when the game finishes we should probably tell the people people that they can click to restart so um, I'm just going to add that in as a text string. Click, double click, and let's say tap to restart. Now to change the font on this, you click on text options and change the size, excuse me. You can right click on this and create an active object or a backdrop object for it. And you could do that if you're using a font that might not be used online if you want to publish it online but I'm going to leave it like that and in the display options I'm going to turn it off being visible at start so that and I'm going to copy this rule down just dragging the words onto the words um, I'm going to set the visibility to make object reappear not that you can see it make object reappear and let's give it a better name called tap to restart there we go Good. Right, now if I run that frame, wait three seconds, two, three, there we go. Good. And also in our introduction, he's got some instructions. Hold to run to the mid zone, collect the balls, butter is bad, bombs are worse. Now if I run that application, that bomb is not there. It disappears. Why is that? Let's have a quick look. Visible at start. Static movement, intriguing, run the frame, it's definitely not there, so 
Are there any rules within it? No, there's no behaviors. Hmm. Well, to save time, I'm just going to, uh, we can just create a backdrop object because we don't need an active object there. Now, if we run it, there we go. Hold to run to the mid zone, collect the balls, butter is bad, bombs are worse. By Corey, oh, let's have a tap to start as well. So, what I'm going to do is save time by pulling in this one, double clicking on it, and just, it says tap to restart currently, doesn't it? And it's invisible. So, tap to start. Now, because this isn't a global object, because I haven't ticked the box to say it's a global object, it means that me editing this won't affect anything else. This object is unique in this uh, game because it's unique in the frame. But if I said it was a global object, everything that was called tap to reset would be set to look like it. There we go, tap starts, and I think we've got a working game. Although the butter didn't seem to affect me very much then. I think that's just to do with timing. There we go, let's see if I can beat my high score. Yeah. Boom. 40. Fantastic. And tap to restart. Great, so we've got our testing, 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 and instructions done. What do we need to do? Publish it. Okay, so I'm going to just save it as normal. You might want to save it as and put a number at the end so that you can go back to previous versions. I'm not going to bother with this one, and I want to build an application. Now, the application that I build is based on the properties of the application, surprisingly. So if we have a look in the settings, I've only got the options in the free version to build to HTML5, which is web page. So that's fine. And if I go to build, it will ask me for the details I haven't filled in, the project name, uh, let's call it football guy, American football guy, and the path, I'll do it on I, impact gamers. Okay, little green bar went across the bottom. If you missed it, you missed it. We now have it in our folder, so. I now have a folder of these files. Uh, in the resources, if I view them, it's got sounds and pictures, and then the source file has the runtime JavaScript, which runs the code, and there we go. That won't work on my computer as is. That needs to run on a website. So if you're lucky enough to have a website, which I should have said at the beginning, um, I'll put it in the description, um, you need to have some web space available. So you find somebody who has some web space, who knows how to upload things to web space. Um, I use a program called FileZilla um, and you can access your web space like accessing a computer. You have a host name, which is at the top. You have a, you fill in your host and your username, password, and when you connect, it's you can see your folders. So I'm gonna put it on the Impact Games website and surprisingly, I'm going to create a new directory called Football Guy. Football guy. Okay. I'll then go to that. I find my files on my computer. And now I select the ones I want, all of them. If you don't copy all of them, it won't work. And copy them across. Now this index file, that you can make some quick changes to that. So Click Team kindly creates a web page for you. But I'm just going to change the title to Corey's football guy. Great. Save it. Oh, Gaia. Save it. File. Save it. And yes. Um, now, if I go on the internet and go to impactgamers.net forward slash football guy, because that's the folder I put it in, it loads up. There we go. And I can now play the game on a web page. And so can all of you if you head to the web page. So that is how you publish your game. Now, once you've done that, just share. Let people know that it is there. So give them the link to your game and uh, play along and beat my score of zero. Okay, uh, comment below if I've left anything out, which I may, sh may well have. And um, I'll see you next time.